hate your things. Can you even talk? Have you ever tried talking? Come on. Inside of my locked car. So, you, why would I just come in? I understand you have no reason to trust us. Um, I don't know what to say to make you come in, but I cannot physically talk at you. I can't talk with the door. What am I supposed to do? Like, you, you said you can help me, so. Okay, just all, right, say all right, all right, all right, all right. Look, we know about the hand. That's all I can tell you with this door open. You have to come in and we can talk about it. But we know about the hands, and we can we can help you, and you can help us. You have to trust them. friends have been stopped by uh, something and uh, recently I started searching everywhere I could for someone with a similar problem and uh, you seem to be in a similar situation. I, I don't know where else to turn uh, because I think I think no one left. You said you had a partner though. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I met him way after the stuff went south. Um, I honestly, I, I don't know much about him, but I do know that he's helping at least a little bit. So. And did the same thing happen to him? Was he followed? Very similar thing happened to him. Um, that thing seems to be wherever he is. Yeah. Shows up. Okay. So, what are you guys trying to accomplish then? Our goal is to stop him. Okay. And how are you going to stop something like him? Yeah. <clears throat> Just follow him this. There are things in this world that fit in, they blend in, they look like ordinary objects, but they're not from here. For example, the clock and the hands. They put up some sort of fence around him, uh, like a protection no one can get through. But if the object isn't whole, like the hands and the clock, it leaves him vulnerable. Okay. 
So he's vulnerable right now. Slightly, yes. Imagine a little hole in the fence, enough to, to get through. All right. So what are you trying? If he's vulnerable, then what do you do? <clears throat> that's the hard part. Uh, that's the part that we've been researching, and uh, I think we're pretty close. I think we're almost to a solution. Okay, okay. I've researched as much as I can about this thing. I found nothing. Yeah. And now he's vulnerable, but like, what would he supposed to do? And why do you need my help, right? This thing that I've been working with, it's been giving us other options. Like another, what, what type of thing, another object? It's, it's not really, um, it's hard to explain. It's not really an object as it is something inside of someone. It's in it. Okay, um. It's inside of someone. It's an object that's inside of someone. My, my partner. Really? Um, he's not, he's not a person. He's not a, he's not a person. He's, <clears throat> sorry. He's, um, he's there. You can, you can see him, but, uh, he's not actually a person. Oh, it's kicking in already. Wow. So now, how are you trying to sit down? You're gonna hurt. <clears throat> what the fuck did you do? I'm sorry. I didn't have a choice. I'm not a bad. I'm not a bad person. 